Welcome to this video tutorial on full dentures with InLab Software 20, Model Phase. In this video, you will learn how to draw the denture baseline, set the insertion axis, block out the model, and correctly place the anatomical landmarks of the model analysis. In this way, you provide the software with the information that is needed to obtain a good automatic initial proposal of the denture design in the subsequent design phase. Let the software guide you through the step menu as usual. In the first step, the Edit Model step, you have the option to check your scanned objects and to edit them if necessary with the available tools. In the next step, check Occlusion, you can check the occlusion of the models based on the byte registration and make correlations if needed. In the Set Model Axis step, you orient the model axis by setting the occlusal plane, median plane, and labial limit from the previously scanned byte registration. In the Denture Baseline step, you can have lines that were drawn previously on the stone model displayed as an aid with the Show Marks Analysis tool. To edit the automatically proposed denture baseline, choose the Edit Line or Drag Line option in the Tools menu. Or, you can delete the proposal and draw the baseline yourself. In the Insertion Axis and Blockout step, you first set the insertion axis for the upper jaw. Click on Apply Blockout in the Blockout tool to block out the model automatically. Also, set the insertion axis for the lower jaw. You can apply automatic blockout here as well, or manually block out the model individually using the Add, Smooth, and Remove tools. The size, strength, and maximum thickness of the tools can be set individually. You then move on to the Model Analysis step. In the Model Analysis step, anatomical landmarks as well as the resulting basic static are automatically calculated and displayed on the model. If you drew markings on the physical model, you can have them displayed here for orientation purposes by activating Show Marks in the Analyzing Tools menu. Select the Help checkbox under the Edit Anatomical Landmarks tool to obtain a pictorial aid and a short explanation of the individual anatomical landmark. The red dot describes the highest point of the maxillary tuber. The maxillary tuber is a bony eminence of the upper jaw behind the last molar. You can correct the position of the highest point by dragging it with the left mouse button pressed down. The indicated red line runs through the position of the first premolar to the highest point of the maxillary tuber and forms the basic static. The position of the first premolar is identified with the green dot. In the upper jaw, the position of the first premolars should be located one tooth width behind the first large palate fold. The papilla incisiva is marked with a purple dot. In the lower jaw, the purple dot is used to show the symphysis point. This is located on the center of the alveolar ridge and corresponds to the incisal point of the edentulous lower jaw. The red line indicates the basic static in the lower jaw as well. 
The position of the first premolars follows with the green dot. The masticatory center in the lower jaw is marked with the blue dot. The lowest point along the crest of the alveolar ridge indicates the masticatory center. This marking has a direct effect on the distal limiting plane. Be sure no contacts exist behind the distal limiting plane because the statics of the denture is otherwise not guaranteed. The center of the retromolar pad in the lower jaw is marked in red. Additionally, you can use the Display Objects menu to have the opposing jaw or other objects displayed. The transparency can be set individually for the models and the bite registration. The display of the occlusal and medial planes can be used here to check the model axis once again. Optionally, the distal limiting line can also be displayed. This line is obtained from the intersection of the alveolar ridge line and the occlusal plane at a 22 degree angle. In the upper jaw, the labial limiting plane can be displayed and shifted horizontally. After completion of the model phase, the software has enough information to calculate an automatic initial proposal of the denture design in the subsequent design phase.